第十四队表演的题目是《Annie's t e o r y 计时开始。One day, while Annie was organizing a desk drawer, she found a notebook in it. When she took out the book, a photo fell out. In the photo were Annie and her Vietnamese student. It reminded her of some wonderful experience of teaching in Vienna. What's this? This is a photo taken by my Vietnamese student. What a beautiful memory it was. I really miss those days in Vienna. Stand up. Why are you all standing up? We need to bow to the teacher. Wow, I can't believe it. You are so polite and even want to bow to me. Nowadays, college students in Taiwan don't do this. Bow. Good morning, teacher. Sit down, please. Hello, everyone. I'm your Chinese teacher. My name is Annie, and I come from Taiwan. My interest is to travel abroad and experience different culture, testing desired food around the world, such as tiger chef. You. Just kidding! Actually, my interest is to let students know the beauty of the Chinese language. In my class, I will teach you some practical Chinese conversations. And through these dialogues, you can have a better understanding of Chinese culture. Now, it's your turn to introduce yourselves. My name is Helen. I like to play all kinds of sports during weekends. My name is Jesse. I like making friends and listening to the pop music. My name is Kitty. I have diverse interests, but I like dancing the most. Teacher, do you want to see my dance? Sure. Come to the front and show it.
十五对表演的题目是《Bon Voyage Vietnam》，计时开始。Famous YouTubers BBS is going to have a trip to Vietnam. Hey, how's it going, fellas? We are BBS. This is Steven. I'm Betty. Okay, after several hours of flight, we finally arrived here. Where is it? Vietnam. Hello, guys. I'm your guide for this trip. I'm Sherry. Hey Sherry, I'm sorry to bother you, but I would like to know the tradition of the Z and the souvenirs here in Vietnam. I want to introduce it to my Fessy. My fan. Hey, my old fan name is Fessy. She is nothing related to me. Sure. I prefer Fessy. Fans are just now our Fessy. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, Miss Fessy, but you have to know that this is my channel, and Fessy is mostly for girls. Don't you know that I'm a guy? Whatever. Our fan name is called Fancy. <laughs> okay, okay, certainly. Certainly, the whole fan is just that famous. It is dinner time now. We, we have whole fun for dinner. Really? Yeah. Woo! Awesome! This, nice! This painter is most likely market here. More tourists will come to this place for food. It is indeed a crazy place. Serious. Hey man, I would like to know the consumption capability here. In, in this show set, that I just started my restaurant here. The economic condition is pretty awful. But recently, the capability is gradually declined. Recently, many tourism industry is influenced by the new Southbound policy, which is announced by Taiwan government. Millions of tourists visit Vietnam and bring a great improvement on the economy. Really? Yeah. I didn't learn that our government had done such an imperative decision until now. In fact, the South policy has been adopted many years ago. The policy itself includes many aspects to create a relationship between Taiwan and Southeast Asia. Oh my god. I didn't learn that our government has done such an imperative decision until now. And the local Taiwanese don't even get familiar with these. It's quite embarrassed. I think we must do. pay more attention when we headed back to Taiwan. You two should record inside your club. Mm, we already done it inside it. Thank you for your advice and lost lunch. There are some starving customers are going to devour your stand, I think. Oh, that's too bad. 
第十六队表演的题目是 New South Bond Youth Power Steady, Silent and Spontaneous。计时开始。This lesson is so difficult. And I don't like our yeah. teacher either. By the way, you remember our classmate John? He's so handsome. What's she doing? I haven't seen that before. Yeah. Hey, hi, Angus. Hey. Hi, Lydia. Look at her. Oh. Oh, I know that. She is a Muslim, oh. and she's worshiping to a Mecca. Oh. That's part of their religious life. It's very common in their countries. Oh, really? No wonder. Hi, Hi. nice to see you. I guess you are our new classmate in creative marketing department. That's true. Hey, what are you wearing on your head? You mean this? Oh, as part of us, Muslims are wearing for women. Oh. It's called hijab. Wow, how special it is! It is quite beautiful. Where are you from? I'm from Jakarta, Indonesia. Welcome to Taiwan to learn marketing business with us. Hooray! One month before graduation. We are about to graduate next month. Yeah. What are you planning to do after graduation? I want to go for further study, but my parents couldn't give me a financial support. I wish I could have a job as soon as I graduate. I hopefully. I, our traditional hijab business is going down gradually day by day, but I can do nothing for it. Really? Uh -huh. That's so terrible. Uh, life is not easy recently. I haven't decided yet. Uh. Uh. What should we do? Uh. Two years after they graduated. Let's go shopping, shopping. Oh, they yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh, isn't that Christina? Hey, Christina! Yes, she is! to return to Jakarta anyway to see if I can do something for our business. Sadly, we couldn't hold on to the impact of the various comfortable clothes and the fashionable design. Even I tried to work it out with some different ideas. And the last year. Aww. It is not easy to find a job in Taiwan as well. I'm working in an advertising design company as an apprentice and pay $20,000 including the insurance. Our company isn't going well recently. And I might lose my job again. Hmm. What about Angus? Hmm. He's working as an independent designer in the company as our competitor. competitor. However, it is said that he has such a terrible quarrel <gasps> with his manager that he eventually quit his job. How brave! I couldn't dare to do that. This sounds terrible. Hmm. Hey, what? How about coming to my hometown with me oh, yeah, to relate for several days? That's great. You're coming in! This is our traditional hijab business in Jakarta. It hasn't changed a bit for 30 years, even though it is located on a business street in downtown Jakarta. How could a traditional store like this survive in this unfriendly environment? Hmm, I'll be in charge of the interior renovations. Make sure that customers feel warm, sweet, and cozy as soon as they're inside. Hmm. I think there should be more varieties of colors, patterns, and materials. Yeah. Besides puzzles, there should be more creativity than people love in the clothes. Yeah. Mm, I'll be responsible for the online marketing to allow customers away from us to order and buy the clothes. Therefore, we can promote product to the world. Genius! That's great! Yeah. That's a great idea. Each of us has different abilities. Then, yeah. what can we do next? I think we... Hey, hey, hey! We've been good friends since we were in college. How about starting a full friend creativity company to provide some bright ideas and marketing strategies? How gorgeous! Let's do it! Let's go! Full friend, full friend! Bye, bye, bye! Today is the second round. 
anniversary of our company. Woo! I've always been so grateful for all your help in these two years. The revenue of the hijab business is going higher and higher and becomes a highly recommended online store. Besides the great transformation of the author, we successfully introduced Taiwanese bubble milk tea here. There are five more turns of that on the street in Jakarta. Even the famous Taiwanese fried chicken to contacted us for the business in Jakarta. We four a creativity company and to light up Taiwanese creativities in Southeast Asia, including more people to be part of us and fight for our bright future. Four friends for forever and ever. Thank you. The The New Path to Clean Air. The three militants door and nine o'clock have been eliminated. Back up! Start moving ones! Ready! Let's move! We got behind you! We got this! We can destroy the last mutants and continue fixing this mess! I can see it! Time to lay some waste! Oh. Justin! Don't die! Stay with me! Don't give up! We are all in this together! Justin! We could have stopped all this 12 years ago. Yes, if we continue Taiwan's new cell phone policy 12 years ago, our world could have ended out differently. Sure, Doctor. We'll keep working on it and update you the good news soon. Okay, bye. Lucas is trying to stabilize our pollution. I hope this idea would work and help more people. Gee, hey, take a look at this. Wow, it looks amazing. Yes. Good morning, Governor. This is the Tony's Industrial Advisor, Lucas. Taiwan has implemented a new Saban policy. That's this bad for formalities. Please show me what you have here. This could be the greatest breakthrough in air purification ever. I'm pleased to introduce you to one of Taiwan's latest achievements. That sounds extraordinary. How wonderful. Have a look here at these little spheres. I call them... Atmospheres! Forget me, sir. But part of these little spheres supposed to clean the waste. They are the key components in filtering and cleaning polluted air. Toxic emissions, dirty smog, and exhaust. They will stop much of your PM2.5. Remind me of what PM2.5 is. Governor, PM2.5 are microscopic particles. Smaller than 2.5 micrometers in diameter. Being so small, they easily lost deep into the fields and pass into other organs. They pose major health risks. Before dirty air is emitted into the environment, an extra air filtering compartment attached with my atmospheres can be installed thereby allowing my atmospheres to absorb vast amounts of harmful air. So what you're saying is the polluted air needs to be trapped in a confined space for it to be effective. Exactly! These mighty marvels seem marvelous! Thank you! Many people in urban India have never breathed clean air. Small O2 is the only air they know. Quite intriguing. I'm going to try and get something started with this. Atmospheres. Hmm. I like the sound of that. Yes, I'll keep you posted. It's gonna be great. I call this meeting on Taiwan's new southbound policy to order. Progress report, please. The Indian government is following your advice in upgrading the cities in greener transportation methods. Maybe one day, all children everywhere won't have to wear masks kicking the soccer ball up and down the field. Progress report, please. I'm humbled to say that the Indian government has pulled out all stuffs and granted for resources in my atmosphere's initiatives. Those ethereal orbs seem simply divine. I will report next. We just got word that the lucrative student exchange program got the green light. Oh, excuse me. I have to take this. Okay, sir. I will talk to you both later. Bye. I hope this will work. Hello, sir. Morning. Everyone is here. There are only a few more documents that need your verification. My news. Our investor pulled out of the deal. Huh? Preposterous. What is the reason? This is coming from the corporate side. They want a faster return on their investment. They care nothing about 20 years down the road. The profits are too slow. What about my atmospheres? 
We have Indian government guaranteed contracts. The atmosphere shareholders who are unwilling to release the patent abroad, they pulled out. The project is totally canceled. Investors revoked all new southbound policy projects in India. This is terrible news. Isn't there a way of progressing? Terminated immediately. I want a status update in 45 minutes. Execution now. Yes. If we continue Taiwan's new southbound policy 12 years ago, our world could have ended up differently. We had something going with Taiwan and their new southbound policy, but we never had a chance. Those atmospheres were particularly promising. My spirits were high for my country then. Nuclear mutants? New South Bomb policy. Atmospheres, eh? I like the sound of that. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, Taiwan. Vivian, meet the students from Taiwan. They are here for internship experience camp. Dawadi Ka, my name is Kevin. Kevin? That's Thai. We're in Indonesia. Sangat bagus berada di sini. Nama saya Melody. Wow, you can speak Indonesia. Yes. Let's try it! Then all customers can find them easily! And 
must think Kenny is a worry. Yes, it's definitely a win-win situation. You must come to our hometown, Taiwan, and try the new app. Sure. Hello, welcome. Welcome to Hanung Taiwan Show. Today, let me introduce our friend from Indonesia. They are Amy and Vivian. Hello, everyone. Hello, ladies. Welcome to Taiwan. As Muslim, when traveling in foreign country, you worry about something, right? Yes, because Taiwanese are not very familiar with Islam culture. So I'm worried I can't try your food. Yes, I'm starving. I don't know where to find the right food. Dear friends, here comes our app, Hello Taiwan. Yes, with this app, no more starving. So Kevin, what is a matcha snack in Taiwan? Well, speaking of which, you must try the bubble milk tea. The, the bubble, bubble milk tea? tea? Yes, a tea drink with a chewy topping. Now, let us show you how to use the app. First, just click in the name, Bubble Milk Tea. And it will show the nearest places to find the Halal Bubble Milk Tea. See, that's the store recommended by our app. Wow! I must try it now. Mmm, it's so chewy. Oh, I love it. Besides food, you can also search for the Halal Hotel, Visitor Center, and even the prayer room. Fantastic! From now on, you can enjoy your halong trip in Taiwan with no worries. So, Indonesians, welcome to Taiwan. Hello, Taiwan. Taiwan. Thank, Thank you. you. The sixteen team's is the Adventure of Taiwan Tilakia. Let's Row, row, row a boat. Oh, wait, I went too far. Row, row, row a boat. Why are the fish so small? As the climate has changed drastically these days, my lovely fish are growing much smaller than usual. I must buy a solution. But how can I solve it? <laughs> Good morning, Sri Lanka. I'm Sandy ZMM. We'd like to share some international news about the aquaculture industry. Taiwan is famous for its Taiwan tilapia. After comparing the fish with our fish, we find that their fish triples the size of ours. Our researchers are contacting them for cooperation. They think that the water quality in Sri Lanka is much better than that in Taiwan. Also, the climate here is more suitable than in Taiwan with no influence of typhoons or cold fronts. The amount of lakes in our country can provide for more fish farms than in Taiwan, and the coastline here is ideal for coastal fish farming. Oh, that's a good way to improve my fish farming. I'm so clever. A big milestone has been set today. The Taiwanese government is going to cooperate with Sri Lanka. Here's the delegate from Sri Lanka. Let's welcome him to share some words. I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to work with Taiwan they will give us the baby fish. And what's more, they will even teach us the techniques about fish farming. As what I've said at the beginning, thank you, Taiwan. Next, we would like to invite the delegate from Taiwan. As hard as it is, the cooperation between Taiwan and Sri Lanka takes a lot of time and effort to prepare. And because of a careful preparation, the exchange could be so wonderful. I would like to thank those who have worked behind the scenes to create a win-win situation. 
without their contribution. The cooperation wouldn't be as perfect. Thank you. Please shake hands and take a photo to commemorate this special moment. Please look here. One and two and three cheese. After the ceremony of Taiwan tilapia, fishermen, technical staff, and the government officials fly back to Sri Lanka to do the practical operations. Hey, how is it? Are the fish lively? Oh my, you can't fish for me only with the pound. All you need is proper facilities and continuous observation. Facilities like what? And what's the procedure? I thought that tilapias were adaptable. Sure they are. However, without paying attention to them or giving them a suitable environment, the quality of fish will be low. First, the arrangement of aquaphor should be completed. As such, pipes to refresh water, tanks and battery machines are needed. Oh, I see. What else do I need to know? And what's the most important thing? Mm. Oh, it is a breathing equipment because it's directly related to quantity of output. To sum up, you should upgrade all the facilities. But how do we upgrade them? Don't worry, we can provide everything you need. Oh, it seems to be lots of work. Let's discuss it more in detail. A few years later, a growing number of fishermen are getting familiar with breeding tilapias. As a result, the productivity of tilapias is increasing, and the government of Sri Lanka has expanded the market significantly in the nation and overseas. By sharing our knowledge, we can get more feedback in return. Bow. Thank you. New Southbound Policy and New Path for Youth. Summer school is one of the activities in New Southbound Policy. We can, in summer school, we can learn how to speak Chinese and communicate about economic trade, the developing topic of the world, and discuss of Hi everyone, today is our day in summer school. My name is Enda. I'm one of the representatives of Taiwan to welcome a student from India and Vietnam. It's about time, where are they? Sorry, I am late. The religious activity is in our way close by. Right. Where I can hear. I study for the well. I, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Sean. Nice to meet you too. And what is the religious activity? I, I don't know what today is, it, but there were many people. I was carried by you. In temple skirt, something looks like dragon and the lion dance. Okay. The sound of fire quicker could be heard even both when you are in very silent place. Oh, that sounds like Taiwanese pilgrimage. Maybe I can introduce more Taiwanese culture to you. Mm, I think it tastes great. Are you a member in the summer school? Yeah, I am. I come from Vietnam. My name is CB. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And I am the assistant of the team. And are you eating Chinese donuts and soy milk? Right. They are my breakfast.
breakfast. Taiwanese breakfast is really, de really delicious and different from my hometown. I always eat cat meal with milk or toast with jam. You can eat our food in the days you stay in summer school. And since everybody is here, I introduce myself again. My name is Tenda. I'm one of the team assistants. In the last two weeks, we can experience, experience our Taiwanese culture and lifestyle and share our idea about the trends of Southeast Asia and Taiwan. And looking forward to the very neat. In two weeks, they learn many Chinese words. Okay, listen here. I will teach you some words. This one in Chinese means is "对不起". Again. Louder. Okay, next one. 你好. Again. Louder. Okay. Share your culture with each other. And discuss. This is Vienna. In the airport. Okay, time does fly. It's time to say goodbye. Uh, does anyone want to share their impression? Sean? This is my first time in Taiwan. Everything is different in my eyes. Me too. I experience. come to Taiwan and communicate with people from different countries. Mm. And please don't forget the memory with us. See you next time. Love you. Goodbye. Bao, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. The team is Come from the South, Fight for the Strength. Ji Shi Kai Shi. Remember we mentioned a new sound? 
be several days ago? I was thinking that we should figure out what tourist interest. It sounds like you're talking about market research. For example, for family from Singapore or Malaysia, we could offer experience based activities like integrate local Aboriginal Hakka and Vietnam culture. That way, adults and children will both have something to do. Or we could develop a quality small scale open farm exchange program. For example, with a recently popular yummy duck rice. Yummy duck rice! Talk of rice, the cooking contest that we mentioned last time. Exactly. Do you know anyone who learned the Southeast Asian language from their parents? I see you want to investigate the demand for tour guides or three intermediaries, right? Jeez, when did you get so smart? Well, I want to expand an AC factory into Thailand someday. If I could manage daily conversation, they will not only avoid misunderstanding, but will also help me get along with local. Maybe my factory lasts a century or more. Should be careful with that. You know, if you keep eating too much, your factory won't last a century. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> My factory could last a century. The library will be closed in 30 minutes. And thanks for your cooperation. Thank you. The 22-代表演的题目是 The world is just one street away. 计时开始。
第二十三对表演的题目是《Go South East Asia, Young Man》，计时开始。To Cambodia and thanks for joining us in our project. We Cambodians here have clean water to drink. However, most Cambodians grow aware of these basic bottles everywhere. Yeah, they don't have the ideas of recycling and reducing these basic bottles, That's which what, makes the cities dirty. That's why we are working on recycling these bottles and reduce them into something useful. That's a great idea. We can also protect our environment in this way too. However, they are already on our products made from plastic. Why do you still have this problem here? No matter how hard we try, it is still hard for Cambodians to have the habit of recycling plastic bottles. In Taiwan, plastic bottles can be collected, sold, and... You are right. We can encourage people to turn the trash into money to make them not willing to recycle these plastic bottles. That's a good point. We can study from the kids here. We encourage them to collect these bottles, and they can exchange them with some stationary items. I can start a bus raising project on the net to get some help. Good for you. Then I can try to find out what can be done with the plastic bottles. Well, I once read about plastic tiles and water filters made of plastic. We can add some of these batteries here and see if that could help us. I can't wait to start our program. Let's do it. Justin and I will think out with some way to attract the kids here to collect bottles. We will also start a fundraising project on the net to raise money. Cool. Then I will work with Jessica to think up with more ways to reuse the bottles and ask this local factory for help. Let's have a representation and tell us what we have done and achieved two months later.
ladies and gentlemen, here we are to tell you how our project has been doing. We have got more money for the net than we had expected. How inspiring! We have used the money to buy pens, notebooks, and even book bags for those kids who took the bottles to exchange with. But it's better. More and more pens by Teddy collect stuff past bottles. Not only for stationery, but also for the city and the environment. We want to thank the local factories for helping us to make our ideas come true. We made some filters put in plastic bottles so that people can have cleaner water to drink. And I know this is quite essential for some areas of Cambodia. What's more important, more and more people are aware of these issues and join us to be advocates of no garbage on the ground because they know that these places bottles are not church. They are gold. Thanks for listening. to have you two with us working together. Since your time in Cambodia is coming to an end, are you interested in staying here for more time? There are so many traditional and local cuisines you will never have a chance to try in any other place, I guarantee. Like fried grasshoppers, roasted scorpions, and... Oh my! Do you dare to eat these things? Sure! These are our daily dishes! Let's forget about this delicious insect. I would like to visit Angkor Wat, Bang Temple, and other tour its attractions. No problem. Just in and I will be your personal and only for you tour guides. I can show you where to have fried baked spiders, roasted snacks, crispy crickets, and... Let's do our sightseeing right now. One, two. Thank you very much. Growth of Generations, 即时开始. It's time to work! Oh no! Please stop! It's their way to get rid of this. I want to get away from here! To keep you from box, I have no choice but to use chemicals. You need to be strong and beautiful so I can earn more money. Although you are not. 
to the combination of Taiwanese technology and Thai agriculture, we do something great in our land. That's right. With cooperation, we have built a close relationship with each other. And I remember the flood many years ago. I lost my crops, so I made up my mind to turn for the hydroponic farming. But I don't know anything. I'm just a rookie. In Thailand, everything is different from Taiwan, especially the environment. Don't worry. In the beginning, I wasn't so nervous about it. A smooth sea never made a skillful marine. Maybe you are right. I can do something great as what you have done in hydroponic farming. With the help of plastic knowledge, hydroponic vegetables have a greater harvest. By the way, we are doing good to our land. It's eco friendly. I should also try it out. Let's figure out what I have there and make this industry into a higher level. Nice job. Listen, I would like to announce some news to everyone now. I believe that all of us are impressed with our intern. Her attitude and enthusiasm are really inspiring to us. There, I decided to give her a promotion. Now, she's our new technical instructor of the plant factory. I really appreciate her effort in this land. Thank you so much, sir. It's my honor to be here with you guys. After years of practice and experience, I'm no longer the intern who is afraid to try. Yes, we have our survey for a long time. I believe you will be qualified for the job. Thank you for taking care of us so hard. Now I can keep a healthy body. We hope to work with local agriculture rather than compete with local agriculture. The variety of the plant factory are also precious in Thailand. We can work together and apply new ways to our industry. That's right. The use of Taiwanese technology and equipment in Thailand is a cultural exchange of science and technology agriculture. Also, we can build a bilateral partnership. Let's, Let's go forward, forward to, to New South Power Policy. policy.